PAL world, or Pokemon with guns. It is definitely the overnight sensation of 2024, with over 20 million copies sold so far, and a smash Steam record for the second game in Steam history to have the most amount of players playing at the same time. And all of this only in its first month, it's almost like Pokemonia all over again. But of course, the game is without its flaws, with multiple accusations of using AI in the PAL designs and using bot assets on the game itself, which is pretty common in indie games. But the biggest one so far has to be straight out copying Pokemon designs. I mean, Verdash? Come on man, it's literally a type swapped Cinderace. They even have the same 3D model. Overall, the main flaw in PAL world has to be the lack of soul and originality, which we will attempt to fix in this video. Now, since I couldn't find any concept art on the internet, I don't know which art style they were working with, so today, we'll be using my own. Now my thought process for this video was a simple one, to add animals that aren't currently in the PAL deck, and since there are no crabs or prawns in the game, we'll start by making a lobster. So the story behind this one goes like this. A normal regular lobster gets caught and boiled one day, and out of vengeance, the lobster's spirit remains in the mortal realm to haunt the shores of where it was caught, using the seam that was cooked in to trap and confuse wandering travellers in a haze of warm mist. So in the game, this would actually happen. You would be on the beach, minding your own business, look away for a second, and then BAM! Shore fills up with mist, Ghost Lobster. Now, I'm thinking of calling this pal Nephrobac, which is a conjunction of Nephropodi, a lobster scientific name, and Payback. By the way, if you can think of a better name for any of these guys, then please, feel free to tell me all about it in the comments section, but for now, Nephrobac is. Now Nephrobac is a water and fire type, and it attacks by shooting scalding water from its claws, as you would expect. Its partner skill will be called Head Fog, and what this will do is cover the enemy's head with a glob of steam, which will leave it punching the air, or in other words, lower the enemy's accuracy. Nephroback will also have a signature move, called Boiling Point, which will basically be an 100 based power scold, and that pretty much covers the combat. Now for work skills, Nephrobac can either be a Kindler, a Waterer, or a Transporter, so if he ain't out in battle, burning and blinding people, he will be back at base, steaming your vegetables and watering your plants. Now, before we continue, I have a confession to make. I've actually never played Power World, simply because I don't have games in my computer. They're just too much of a distraction while I work, and I don't own an Xbox. So if you have played PAL World, let me know if these guys would fit in. Especially this next one. Now I was very surprised to see that there is no Mushroom or Spider PAL, which are staples in any monster taming RPG. Now I didn't remember to do something about the Spider PAL, but I did do something about the Mushroom one. This is Triceratops Room which is Triceratops with Mushroom, as you can tell. But he's not really a Triceratops, to be honest, I don't really know what he is. I just wanted a Mushroom dude that could hold a gun, the name just happened to suit him. Now Triceratops in the wild behave like your typical commercial tough guys, they walk around with mean expressions on their faces and they like to wrestle each other, like raging rams, which is inappropriate behaviour given that Triceratops partner skill is called Bodyguard. Now from what I know, from my limited knowledge on PAL world, most PALs have an offensive role in battle, and so I wanted to create a PAL that had a defensive role, and that's what Bodyguard skill is here to do. In battle, Triceratops will get in between you and the enemy, and with this skill, approaching enemies will bounce off of Triceratops, increasing the space between you and the creature that you pissed off. And to go along with this skill, Triceratops will have a signature move called Double Down, which will basically be the equivalent to a grass type counter. Triceratops will be hit with a physical attack, and he will dish out double the damage of the attack that he was hit with. 
and it will also have the chance to poison. That's the combat. On base, Triceratrum can either be a gatherer or a transporter. So you can expect some freshly picked mushrooms whenever you decide to visit your furry slaves. Now, picture this. You're playing Power World in its nighttime in-game. Again, you're minding your own business, exploring the world while growing your army of enslaved animals, the usual. And then, something in the distance catches your attention. Some yellow light flashing far away. And so, you decide to move closer to investigate. And then, bam, you spoil a herd of these guys. Now I like to call these guys Twinkle Necks. I was going to go with Sparkle Neck originally, but we already have a lot of pals with Spark in the name. So Twinkle Neck it is. Plus, I find it kind of ironic how a 10 foot giraffe has Twinkle in its name. Now Twinkle Necks are nocturnal creatures. They sleep in the sunshine during the day to recharge their batteries, and at night, they roam the land, kind of as living street lights you would say. So as you can guess, Twinkle Neck is an electric type, and this will be another pal with a defensive rule in battle. But instead of blocking physical attacks, Twinkle Neck will block ranged attacks, with his partner skill, polar opposite. So this is how it goes. While mounted, Twinkle Neck will generate an electric magnetic field around itself, deflecting all projectiles, including bullets. The repelled attacks will go back with 25% of the damage. And to cap it off, Twinkle Neck will have a signature 150 powered move called Thunder Sun, which will be a shower of plasma rays that will cover a large area around the user. Now in the beginning, I was actually going to make Twinkle Neck into a fire type. It would just be a giraffe with a sun for a head. But luckily for me, that's still possible. This is Twinkle Neck Ignis, and it does exactly the same as the regular Twinkle Neck, but with fire. So instead of an electric magnetic field, we will be protected by a fire tornado, which will deal 50% damage rather than the 25. The skill will be renamed to Swirling Flames, and instead of having Thunder Sun, we will have Solar Flare, which again will do the same, but fire. In base, Twinkle Neck can either be an electricity generator or a transporter. In English form, the electricity generator will be swapped with kindling. And just like that, your animal workers will be able to see well as they work through their 23rd night in a row. And so, there we have it. A defensive trio, a lobster that can make your enemies miss, a mushroom guy that can bounce off melee attacks, and a giraffe that can repel projectiles. Subscribe for more.